All right, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Gary, Corey, Cam, <laughs> and Chip with us today. <laughs> it's the Rocky Mountain Showdown tonight. See you in CSU, right. Mile High Stadium at 8 o'clock. It's over quiet now over there, but uh, it's going to be rocking tonight. Boy, is that true. So now, yeah. yes, all our focus is on the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Eddie Randall live at the stadium for the final one. This is the final one in Denver anyway. You have a big for a head. while. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Yeah, that's right, guys. And it's one of the last times we're going to actually be able to see them play um, each other before they start taking those breaks that we've been talking about all morning. So let's talk more about that. We have a little bit of time. CSU and CU will play each other next year in Fort Collins before they start taking those breaks. Now, the reason behind all this is because their contract expires in 2020. So after that, we will not see the Buffs and the Rams play against each other until 2023 in Boulder and then 2024 in Fort Collins. Another reason a lot of people are upset about all this is that the game is being played tonight on Friday. So a lot of people are going to have to choose between going to see their loved ones play in the high school Friday night football games or coming out here to Mile High Stadium for the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Back out here live, this is a rivalry that has lasted since 1893 with 90 games played in between. So you can imagine why so many people want to know why, why this game is going to be taking a hiatus. So we have um, some of the athletic directors from the Rocky Mountain Showdown in studio right now with you, Corey and Gary. You guys are going to talk more about this issue. Right. Yes, so we do. We have the athletic directors with us from CU Rick George and from CSU Joe Parker. Thank you guys so much for coming in. And the mascots Absolutely. obviously are still here. Of yes. course. <laughs> Distracting. Right. I, think they, I think they get along. I Makes think they get along. Do the job. Yeah. All right. So a lot has been made. This is the last Rocky Mountain Showdown in Denver. So why give it up? What, what's going on there? Uh, we're not giving it up, but uh, we, we played the last 10 years in Denver, right. and we're just ready to bring it back to campus. So this next year will be in Fort Collins. Yeah, 2020 will be played at Canvas Stadium. And then? 23, 24, we start back up in Boulder in 23. Okay, yeah. so a couple years off. Yep. And then we start back up, okay. Yep. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking us anyway, so you have all these in-state rivalries around the country, you know, Alabama, Auburn, maybe the most famous, Michigan, Michigan State, stuff like that. Why don't Colorado, Colorado State do that and do that every year? Uh, we'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we just thought it'd be you good. guys could make it spot. happen. We <laughs> just thought it'd be good to take a break, and uh, we'll get back and have that game. But we love playing on the front front range. We've got Air Force in our schedule as well, and we play them in two weeks. So, uh, you know, we're trying to keep those games going as well. I mean, the Rocky Mountain Showdown is such a big deal for the schools, for the fans, for the students. I mean, tonight's a big night. It is a big night, you know, and it's eight o'clock, so you got to pace yourself. You right. know. <laughs> the, the thing, there is that. Pace yourself, but uh, you know, and, and, and it's about being civil. You know, I mean, you, rivalries are great, but it's a game, it's a sport. Uh, you know, we ought to be respectful of uh, each side of the ball, and uh, you know, I think that's a message Joe and I both no, share in always. that. Yeah. We were uh, joking a little bit over there earlier, but we did say that the, you know the all-time record really favors the Buffs. It's 88, 22, and two, I believe. Uh, did that go 66. in? 66. 66. Yes. 66, 22. I got you. Did, anyway, <laughs> did that go into, you know, uh, the, the whole equation of we're not going to play every year? No, not really. I think, you know, it, it began, I think, with Rick. You know, he's got another school in state with Air Force and, and wanted to play them. And they only have three non-conference games. For us, it's a little bit easier. We have four non-conference games. So when he uh, starts trying to be creative with the schedule, it's, it makes it a little more difficult with only three. Right, yeah. and you know, you can throw that schedule out the window at eight o'clock tonight. I mean, right. you know, it doesn't matter, you know, and every year there's a lot of excitement around that game and a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, it'll be a well-played uh, well played game on both sides, and you know, it'll be interesting. Who's gonna win? Well, I'd say the Buffs. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Joe would be I'm guessing you don't agree with that. Oh. Either right. way, going to be such a great game. Mm -hmm. be fun. Gentlemen, thanks appreciate for coming it. in. We appreciate it. Thanks and good so luck much. tonight. Thanks yeah. for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Let's care. check the forecast. Marty, it sounds like early on tailgaters might see some storms, but once kickoff happens, good to go. Sounds good to me. I, I like that. I think that's the way it's going to go. It's already uh, looks like they have things going very well at Mile High tonight. Rocky Mountain Showdown again early on. Folks outside the stadium, getting to the stadium, maybe hanging out before the game may have to deal with a brief thunderstorm or two but by that late kickoff we should be in really good shape with pleasant temperatures in the lower 70s and across the highway on the other side of I-25 we have a 640 start for the Rockies and Pirates 76 there clouds with the storms just moving to the east.